Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and today's video is going to be a little strange, a little different. Um, see, long ago I promised that this channel wouldn't turn into Hi, I'm a New Dad baby sort of channel, and I am going to stick to that promise. But uh, a couple of days ago a package arrived, and uh, it's... It's a, it's a sort of foreboding one. Uh, so, so let, let me give you a little background. See, um, since we, my wife and I had the baby, we've, we've been getting, you know, presents from people. This is apparently what people do when other people have babies. They give them presents. Uh, mostly the kid is the one actually getting the presents. So, for instance, uh, my friend uh, Leonard uh, had this lovely little guy brush shirt made for our kid, which is always oh, all, all shades of beautiful, honestly. And uh, my mate Daniel from Himalaya Studio sent over this scary looking squirrel thing. <laughs> I don't, it's a possum, apparently, um, along with some children's books that he, uh, that he somehow sat down and translated into Danish. And then a couple of days ago, this arrived. I have so many questions. I'm gonna try and cover up my address here so you can see there's a horse on it. And on the back here it says, Hi, I'm Dave. I'm dumb. Don't grow up to be dumb like me. Or, yeah. This is a, a package from Randall, Kathy, and Dave from Giggle Horse. You may remember Giggle Horse. Uh, they are the adventure game company doing Absolute Zero. I, I'm signed on to their game as the musician, and they were the ones that sponsored my trip to PAX last year. So, uh, so these are very, very nice people. They are also very, very weird people. And the reason I'm doing this video in the first place is because this package, first of all, they wouldn't tell me what was in it. And it is quite the hefty, chunky size, I have to say. Uh, he started saying all sorts of weird stuff, Randall did, about what it might contain, what it might not contain, if it was going to get stuck in custom due to, and he went on about biological terrorism and live rodents, and I honestly have no idea what's in this thing, and I'm a little scared to open it, but he did say, if I'm going to open it, I should probably have the camera ready. So, this is me, with the camera ready. Uh, Let's get in. Let's uh, stab Dave in the face here. Okay, Dave. How are you doing? Stabby, stabby. God, I hope there's nothing precious in here that, uh, you know, should uh, be carefully unwrapped or, uh, like, fragile stuff. It doesn't say fragile on the side, so we're going to have to assume that it is very much non-fragile stuff. Here we go, here we go. It has been breached. Air cushioning. Get fucked. Is that dead? I hope it's not dead. Oh, it's um it's a it's a blankie. It's a lovely little blankie. Oh what what could possibly go look, it looks like I'm setting a table. You don't you don't want to set a table unless you just kind of bleh. Um oh, that's lovely, it's very soft. Very so where am I? <laughs> Hello, it's very soft. <laughs> ah, cheers. And there's another one, tiny blankie. Wait, hang on. Hang on. This is more of a pillowcasey typey blank. What the fuck is this? Is this uh, for autoerotic as asphyxiation or something? No, it's just a. It's, I think it's a binky. I think it's supposed to be a binky. I, I put this tripod down very low, didn't I? A couple of lollies. I'm sure the wife will. Love these. I think the kids are a little young for these. <laughs> Tootsie Rolls. Honest to God, Tootsie Rolls. We don't have these in Denmark. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is for me. I'm going to save this for later. I'm going to save... I'm going to put this aside now. Because we're still doing... Still doing some baby unboxing, unwrapping. Holy God. They wrapped everything. Good shiting Christ. There's... That's two. Uh... Three, four, Randall, you, Kathy just spent their entire monthly allowance on this shit. A lovely little note here. Dear baby, can you even read that? No. <laughs> Dear baby Storm, we're so pleased that you have chosen our planet to live on from whatever trans-dimensional place you were before. 
That would be my scrotum, I think. <laughs> Here are some things to help you get started with your new life on Earth. Some of it you can use when you get older. You can eat the lollipops when you grow teeth. Did they last that long? What's the shelf life on a lolly? Also, my hair is on fleek. You can, okay, don't worry, they are made here in the US from preservatives and plastic from China. <laughs> so they have a shelf life of 100,000 years. Love, retarded Dave, Uncle Asshole, and Aunt Kathy. Chris, Michelle, Nick, the bad intern. Oh yeah, there are other people at Giggle Horse besides the triumvirate, but uh, uh, um, Dave, Randall would be Uncle Asshole, and, and Kathy. I met these in, uh, in Seattle and they were so lovely. So very, very, very lovely. Took really, really good care of me. Could have left me to die on the side of a road somewhere in Seattle. They didn't. That was very, very nice of them. Okay, so let's let's go through these one at a time, shall we? Okay, you're gonna have to live with the uh, microphone cord being in the shot. Who gives a shit? It's not like we're a professional YouTube operation around here. So very, very... Holy God almighty. These, these are truly adorable little baby clothy things. I'm gonna stab them. This is like baby's first survival kit. This one is, uh, is slightly smaller and harder. So I'm assuming this is some sort of weaponry. Nope, incorrect. It is a book with the fabulous title. Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> Let's have a look at this one, shall we? The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book. If you swear, you'll go the fuck to sleep. Ah, oh, I wish I had one of these when I was a kid. Here's another meaty one. It's soft and there's uh, it, it, it's encouraging me to rub something. I'm not entirely sure. Do I rub the elephant? The elephant's giving me the eye. Have a look. Rub-a-dub. Who's in my tub? <laughs> Dude, if you don't know who's in your tub, um, maybe, maybe cut down on the sauce. There's a storybook, a hooded towel, and squirts. Which is good because I actually just went out and got my kid a bathtub um, yesterday. Yeah, um, so so he's he's gonna be needing he's gonna be needing stuff like this. Bath time, awesome. And here's the last box. It's um, again, it's one of the hard ones. So the other one was not weaponry. I'm assuming this one might be. I I see the word music. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. Guys, what the hell? You got him a you got him a toy piano, but this is... I mean, I had a toy piano as a kid too, uh, which would explain why I'm so awful at actually playing anything. But, because uh, th these these teach you absolutely nothing, but they make a hell of a racket, and it even, it even has like a little microphone. And, oh, this is, oh, this is brilliant. Does it have MIDI out? Is, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, probably not. Pro it, it has a, it has a battery. Okay, so, but, <laughs> I, I only say this because I actually went, hi, there, there you are. I actually, uh, f for the soundtrack to their game, I went out and I had to get myself a new MIDI keyboard and I went to a thrift store and I got a toy keyboard and this toy keyboard for some as backwards reason actually had an old style MIDI out port on the back so you could plug that into your computer and use it as a MIDI keyboard. So um, a lot of the music that I've been doing for Absolute Zero was actually done on, <laughs> on a toy piano. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so now for, now for daddy. Oh, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> these, these are nasal strips, uh, but someone has helpfully drawn a cock on it. <laughs> right. Um, 
I think this might be Dave trying to tell me something. Dave and I shared a hotel room when, when we were in Seattle. Did I snore, Dave? Did I snore? I'm very sorry if I did. Did I get a little too close, a little too cuddly? I mean, we had to share a bed. So I hope I'm not divulging anything you're not supposed to say. How do these work anyway? I've, I've, I've heard stories of these. Oh, good fuck. There is, there aren't any. There's, there's just the hotel key card from the hotel we stayed at. Okay, story time. Um, when I left the, uh, the hotel in, in Seattle, I, um, I was in kind of a hurry because we'd just done the panel and I had very little time to get back to the hotel room, pack my shit, get on a train and then uh, go the fuck to the airport. And go the fuck I did. And in my rush, I actually forgot to take the hotel key card out of my wallet and leave it at the front desk like a good little boy. And I didn't realize this until I was at the airport. Uh, go, I, th I think I was buying a soda or something uh, before getting on the plane. And I looked in my little wallet -y thing and there was the fucking hotel key card. And in sort of a panic, I, I wrote Randall an email and said, shit, I've, you know, <laughs> I left the, 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 the key card is, is in my wallet. I'm, I'm traveling home with the hotel key card. Uh, do I mail it to you? Do I financially compensate for, you know, lost key cards? And he went, fuck it. We, we, we stole their key card too. <laughs> so, so they, they've mailed the key card to me <laughs> in a, in a lovely container, I might add. So this means, this means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for all the wonderful, all the wonderful presents for my little, my little one. My little boy, yes, the tiny boy. So, uh, cheers, Giggle Horse. Thank you for being so utterly weird and so utterly delightful as well. So anyway, thank you so much. Um, I'll see you guys around the Chrono stream. Bye.